a couple weeks ago, I talked about this whole thing about Nerd Roddick where there was an attack on him. People were going after him on social media as calling him a uh, disgrace, uh, calling him everything in the book that was just not nice. It was not nice. Everybody was being mean, mean to him. He's one of the biggest YouTubers in the world. It really came down to just the guy that was really talking about him the most. He's just jealous. That's what I was saying it came down to. He was just jealous. Uh, this coming from that park place. The Nerd Rodic channel on YouTube is one of the larger pop culture <laughs> pontificators. Words. Words are tough. Pontificators of the web. The commentary is enjoyed by a wide variety of viewers, but not everyone is happy about that. A post from a mostly obscure ex went viral recently and very obscure. I have seen this guy, Grayson Minute Nerd News, in the past. Uh, he kind of popped up during, I think, the whole Snyder debacle that was going on. Release the Snyder Cut, release the Snyder Verse, whatever all that stuff was going on. Uh, but it went just you know about a week or so ago crazy and viral because he posted this thread saying neurotic is a piece of crap that we've allowed to operate amongst us for far too long come on now really so how did an ex account with only a couple thousand followers post a thread of hateful statements and suddenly blow up into a five million view trending topic across the internet like i said to me I looked at this and I said, this is just a guy who was jealous of Nerd Roddick. He could not get the uh, notoriety, the, the, the following that he wants. So he went and found somebody who he didn't agree with. He picked on him and said, look, I'm going to pick on this guy who I don't like, who I don't agree with, who doesn't have the same views as me. And people are going to jump on my bandwagon and say, yes, I agree with him. And I'm going to get a bunch of followers because of it. And that's what I thought he tried to do. Well, according to that park place, it says social media investigator determines attack on Nerd Roddick YouTube channel was a part of co a coordinated campaign, which is not surprising in the least. And when you sit there and take a look at this, because it's not going to stop here. I said this the other day when I talked about the initial report on this. Neurotic is just the first. He's the biggest. He's the easiest target. But when you have people like him, and I'm not going to say I'm anywhere in the stratosphere of Neurotic, but I am a pop culture commentator. I'm somebody who comment, commentates on pop culture like he does. And I am open to, you know, criticizing what's going on in pop culture. I'm not afraid to speak my mind like nerd Roddick. There's others like him. Critical drinker, as we see here is another one. As you see, the critical drinker is a piece of crap that we've allowed to operate amongst us for far too long. A thread. It looks like a copycat continued campaign on X, a mere thread attempted with 11,000 views tries to malign another popular YouTuber, critical drinker. It's all just a start. People are trying to attack these pop culture commentators but who's going to be the next that gets attacked because it's not going to be these bigger ones that are going to get attacked and that, that are going to be harmed it's going to be the smaller ones the ones that aren't as large as them are going to be the ones that really get hurt from this they're the ones that are going to lose their jobs they're the ones that are going to have financial hardships because of this all simply because they go on youtube and discuss pop culture. They talk about nerd stuff. They talk about cape stuff. They talk about superheroes and they talk about their feelings on it. That's okay. That's allowed to be done. We're allowed to talk about that stuff, but let's continue this here. So how does it, the social media analyst and investigator think the post was made to, to artificially trend? So that's what happened. There was a, an analyst and investigator who went and found out that, Hey, there was a trend that was artificially created. One of the more surprising aspects of the internet for those who are unaware is that not every social media post that goes viral does so based on merit. It's not always the number of eyeballs looking at the Facebook comment or TikTok video that causes it to skyrocket. Though social media companies work hard to prevent this from happening, on occasion we find that some trending social media posts and videos are driven by more synthetic effort. Though complicated and difficult to understand, bots can be deployed by shady efforts to mimic the accounts of humans and thus artificially prop up visibility of things you would otherwise never find 
because they would have almost no attention. A deep dive into the account supporting the original poster at the time, when the account was largely unknown, gives us a major revelation. Master of the TDS who runs Gothic Therapy on YouTube managed to discover that the various users following Minute Nerd News shared a very particular similarity. But in order to know what was going on, they first needed to develop what is called a node map. At first, TDS and his partners thought the node map looked normal and there were no shenanigans at play. That is until they ran another calculation. This time they created a map of all the accounts following Minute Nerd News, but they limited the accounts to only those which are publicly available. In other words, they removed private accounts. Normally, this wouldn't change the result much, but because private accounts are quite rare on the site formerly known as Twitter, at least if they're actively participating in online discourse. What they found was startling. It turns out that the vast majority of the accounts driving this thread to the great public visibility were private accounts. That was incredibly unusual. But then they also found that there were no, there were two very public accounts with vast social media followings that were also in the second node map you see in this article. It appeared without any doubt to our social media investigators that accounts with tremendous, tremendous influences who were connected to conspiracy to make this thread as visible as possible. At this time, the investigators are not yet to disclosing the large following account. What large following accounts seem to be have seem to have been connected with this behind the scenes, although the original poster of Minute Nerd News may not have been aware. It seems that the master of TDS that the visibility of this post was dramatically increased in a way that was never intended to be possible on Musk's pat platform. It could have been even it could even represent a first step in a new way of damaging online personalities by artificially sparking topics online from smaller accounts willing to make bombastic statements. And as I said, this is not the first time we're going to see this. And this could harm other pop culture commentators in the long run. You know, there's other ones. There's people that I follow. There's people that I'm friends with. I've just been on other other shows with people who are not as outspoken as I am or as critical drinker are, but have similar political views as I do or as they do. And if somebody catches wind of that, they can just easily go and try and ruin their channel, ruin their show, ruin their lives just by doing something like this. Because depending on where you work, depending on what kind of job you have, they don't want that negativity coming and having a blowback on their company that, oh, that person is terrible. That person is not a good person on social media. Look at the YouTube channel they run. And this is a very slippery slope. And I hope that Elon Musk hears about this and is taking this seriously and stopping this because this is something that he needs to stop. This is something that should not be going on. Look, Critical Drinker, he is such a big name. He was going to come out of this okay. Um, Nerdrotic, he's another one. Uh, the, the top one, Nerdrotic, I'm sorry. Critical Drinker, he was the second one that they tried to get. Nerdrotic, he's a, a big enough guy. He's going to get past this perfectly fine. Critical Drinker, the second one, he's big enough. He's going to get by this perfectly fine. It's the smaller ones. The smaller the smaller people are the ones that we got to watch out for. And it's we all have to stick together with this because it is a dangerous, slippery slope. It's the people that that they, they, they don't like to have a conversation. They just think you don't have the same ideals that I do. You don't have the same feelings that I do on a subject. You're going to sit there and call it out on social media. Instead of me reaching out to you and having a conversation, I'm just going to make your life a living hell. And I'm going to try and make your life the worst possible life you can have instead of having a conversation. And that's what happened there. And it's, it's pathetic. But I want to know what you think. What did you think about all of this? Do you think that this could get worse than it actually is? I want to know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you hit that like button, hit subscribe, all of that. Because as this goes on, if more of this type of stuff happens to pop up in the future, I am going to talk about it because this does hit close to home. This could affect me at some point in time. I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing because heck no, I'm not afraid to keep talking my mind. I'm not afraid to be who I am because I like talking about pop culture. I like what I like. I like talking about this stuff and I want it to get back to how it used to be. So I'm not going to stop talking about it, but 
Let me know your thoughts. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below.